All right, now the fire burned for weeks, and now nearly four months later, we're finally learning about potentially toxic trouble that may have stayed in the air in Doral. A new report suggests officials downplayed the dangers of February's waste plant fire. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho joins us live to break it all down for us. Joe. Elliot, the report sheds light on what Doral residents experienced the days and weeks after the moment the fire initially broke out here at this Doral Waste facility. The findings show that there were dangerous levels of toxins in the air both around the facility and across the city. We're told all air quality tests are coming back clear. Three days after the start of the fire on February 12th, fire officials shared that initial report with us. However, the fire burned for weeks. Smoke filled the air in Doral. A report published June 1st by Earth Justice and Florida Rising details the initial findings were off the mark. The county essentially downplayed harms to the surrounding community in especially the immediate aftermath of the fire. Dominic Burkhart, a senior attorney with Earth Justice, says the organization in Florida Rising collected and went through county records. They discovered that pollutants were present at concentrations at or exceeding the threshold at which they could no longer be considered safe for human exposure. These were air monitors that um, the EPA had set up in the surrounding community. So some were um, several miles away from the incinerator site, and it, so it would have been near people's homes and schools. As the fire raged on, one of the areas of concern in February was Ronald Reagan Senior High, only two and a half miles from the site. The report shows the air quality levels on February 18th and 21st registered unhealthy levels for sensitive groups, while closer to the facility saw testing ranging from hazardous to very unhealthy. When the numbers are reaching that level of sheltering in place, of um, you know, not not going outside and taking precautions, because at that point, you know, there's going to be certainly breathing and respiratory issues. Will we feel any long-term effects from the fire in our drinking water, the air we breathe, or even the soils nearby the site? It's hard to know right now what the long-term effects are. What we can say is that we did hear reports from people that some of the symptoms that began in the fire, like the skin irritation, throat irritation, had continued for several weeks beyond the fire um, ending. And looking back, county officials in that first week when the fire broke out did issue warnings about smoky conditions and for residents to take precaution, those that lived near the area. Now, we did reach out to the Miami-Dade County Mayor's Office and the District Commissioner for the county earlier today. Both said they needed more time to review the findings before giving us a comment. We will certainly give them that time and then get back to them next week to learn their thoughts about this report. Live from Doral, Joe Gorcho, CBS News Miami. Joe, thank you for the update.